everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to what is gonna be the beginning of a, another weekly vlog. So I know you guys have been loving my vlogs lately, and in particular, my moving vlogs, but this week, I thought we'd actually just spend a week together, uh, go and get a few treatments and things done. So I actually went and got my teeth done. Um, this is all coming up in the vlog, by the way. I have already filmed it, but as per usual, I didn't film an intro, so I thought we'd start the vlog now after everything's been done and um, because i'm actually doing some cooking tonight and i thought i'd just add this in too because i know you guys love seeing what i get up to in the kitchen and what i'm cooking and um, but yeah this week's vlog is actually quite fun um because i go and get my teeth done so yeah there's going to be a whole segment talking about that more in depth i know so many of you have been asking me on my instagram about my teeth and been following my journey on there and um, so yeah that's really really exciting also went and got my hair done, had a little bit of a glam, got my nails done. Um, so yeah, it's basically just a little bit of a spend the week with me, um, just catching up, having a bit of a shin wag um, and that kind of stuff really. But like I say, got to film an intro, so here I am now on a Saturday night, just about to cook dinner and I thought we would start here and then yeah, it will just jump to the vlog footage of where <laughs> I just randomly picked up the camera and um, started vlogging my week. Um, so anyway. Before we get into my little glow up and my teeth journey and all of that, let us get the dinner cooked tonight. Oh, this part of the video is actually in collaboration with HelloFresh once again. So a massive thank you to HelloFresh for kindly sponsoring this video. You guys know how much I love HelloFresh by now. Um, although I do work with them, I genuinely, you know, get HelloFresh every single week out of my own money also because I just love them so much. I am someone that when it comes to meal time, I struggle. I never know what to cook. I never know what meals to do. And I always like something different you know i always think of probably the same two or three meals and hello fresh allows me to try different meals every single week always have something really tasty and fresh on the table it encourages me to cook fresh as well because if i've ordered the hello fresh that week i'm like right i've got my meals i'm gonna go in the kitchen do some cooking um it's really nice just getting in the kitchen as well sometimes just having that like half an hour just cooking it's kind of like my zen side. But yeah, anyway, tonight I'm having the crispy sea bass on fresh tagliatelle with creamy tomato tarragon sauce pea shoot salad. So this is actually a premium one. So they do all different meals. So they do like family ones, calorie smart, um, yeah, more premium ones. Oh, there's so many to choose from. Honestly, you'll be spoiled for choice when it comes to selecting your meals per week. Yeah, the premium ones are perfect for a Saturday night if you don't want to go out and want something a little bit special. So I've gone for this. I do have a discount code for HelloFresh as well. So if you haven't tried it, honestly, I really encourage you to just try and let me know what you think because you won't be disappointed. I guarantee it, once you try it, you'll be having it every week because it's just so convenient. Gone are the days of thinking what you need to get for dinner because it all comes in bags to your door. You then get these meal cards like this, all the step-by-step -step instructions. So it couldn't get any simpler and also it eliminates any waste because you get all the ingredients in the correct amount. So yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, like I say, I do have a discount code. So I will leave that on screen and in the description bar below. I believe it's Laura Michu, um, but yeah. I'll double confirm that on the screen and in the description box. But definitely take advantage and use that if you would like to try HelloFresh because you won't be disappointed. So yeah, let's get cooking guys. Okay, so just want to quickly show you all the ingredients for tonight. So we've got two sea bass fillets, some pasta, some pea shoot, tarragon lemon, um, some creme fraiche, I think that's stock, and then some plum cherry tomatoes. So yeah, let's jump in. never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Okay, this is the finished dinner how amazing does this look? It looks so yummy. So we've got our side of pea shoot with like a lemon dressing on. And then we have our tegletelli, tomato, tarragon, a bit of creamy sauce with the sea bass on top. Delish, we're gonna tuck in. Okay, probably not the best place to balance you on my sofa, but 
Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, this time, rather than a moving vlog, I thought we would do a spend the week together this week because I know you guys are really enjoying the moving vlog. Like I'm actually really surprised like, with the response and like how many people have been interacting with the videos and stuff. Like I'm really happy, but um, yeah, I've got so many more moving vlogs on the way. And this week I've got quite a busy week, like out and about getting beauty treatments done, um, things like that. So I just thought I would actually just vlog a week. I kind of like spend the week doing a few more interesting things, let's say, than just like being in the house, even though I know you find that interesting too. Um, but yeah, anyway, it is Monday today. I need to get a scoot on actually because I'm just about to head to the dentist. So I've not really spoke to you guys about this yet, but basically last week, can I like balance you there so I'm not like holding on? Um, sorry if this is a little bit like that. Let me move these cushions out of the way. Okay, I don't think that's too bad, but yeah, basically, Last week, I went to the dentist for the first time in so long. I will admit, I am someone that has a bit of a scare with the dentist. I basically, to cut a long, long story short, had an issue with a tooth when I was probably 14, 15. Um, it started off as a small filling. It then turned into three quarters of my tooth being removed. It then turned into a lot of toothache before that so many issues with it, potential root canal, then I'm not having root canal, then I end up having it patched up. Um, and basically, I have had issues with that tooth ever since. It's very sensitive, I get on and off toothache with it. Um, but me now having this like fear of the dentist, I haven't ever gone back about that. So I've gone back for cosmetic reasons to have um, composite veneers, as you guys know, for about five, four to five years ago now. Um, but anything checkup wise, I have just stayed clear because I just kind of had this mindset, which is not the best mindset. But my mindset was like, I would rather just go when I desperately need to go, like when I'm really in pain, rather than just go for checkups and then end up finding things that not don't really need doing, then they make a mess of it, blah, 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 um, So yeah, anyway, I went to a dentist called Beautiful Smiles last week. They're based in Leicester. Um, they've got a brand new clinic, which is honestly just so fab, so insane. As soon as you walk in there, you don't even feel like you're in a dentist, which is really weird. I just felt like I'd gone to go get my eyebrows or something. It was, it's dead like glam and really nice in there and really clean um, and just aesthetic, which is what I love. And the dentist that I seen, Nora, Dr. Nora, she was just so lovely as well, so down to earth, just friendly, Joe, just like a normal familiar face kind of thing, even though that was the first time meeting her. And she was just so welcome, welcoming in, I can't even say the word, just really accommodating, made me feel at each street away. Um, and basically the reason I went was because I was going to have a consultation with her about cosmetic things, um, because I was thinking, shall I go and get my teeth straightened? I need my veneers, what composite veneers are resorting, because they typically only last four to five years, Depends person to person, but yeah, they're not like a permanent fixture like porcelain veneers are. So anyway, I like, I can't, I don't know if you can see, but mine are quite square. They're like chipping down a little bit and stuff now. So yeah, I thought I'd go and pay a visit to her. Um, and yeah, we, I was there honestly all morning. Um, she did like scans on my teeth. She did an x-ray. She basically did the full shebang and was like checking on my teeth and stuff as well. Cause I obviously told her it had been a while since I'd had my teeth done. Um, and she basically gave me a couple of options of what I could do with regards to my old composite bonding. So she was like, first of all, we can either take it off braces, top and bottom. They're kind of like train tracks, but they're not. They're like the new updated version where they're really invisible, really discreet. Like I couldn't actually believe like how discreet they looked. I'll try and include actually a bit of the footage I did take initially of that because that was the route I was originally thinking I was gonna go down in my head. But I'll explain why I chose not to. So yeah, I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, this, could work. Um, I wouldn't have to have them on that long as well. I think she was saying like nine months, maybe a year. It just depends. Um, so yeah, that was the first option. And then she was going to take them off, clean my teeth up, whiten them, um, do a bit of composite bonding and whatever on the tops and whatnot. And that would be it. However, the second option was to just get rid of my composite bonding and redo it um and leave my bottom teeth because she was kind of saying that I couldn't really do my bottom teeth with the top teeth or like it's best to do both at the same time with braces and things so anyway at the time I was like yeah let's go for braces let's go for like the perfect smile the whole shebang I went away had to think about it and was like right 
you are very insecure, as you guys know. I would hate to keep banging on about it. I noticed that in my old last vlog and I was like, I need to just keep shutting up about that now. It's like really annoying. But yeah, you guys know I have these issues with my appearance and blah, 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 blah. And I was like speaking to my mum about it and mum was like, I don't think you'll be able to cope with having braces on. Even though they are so discreet, I just know personally with how I am that... You know, with my job, I'm on camera 24-7. Like, how am I going to react to seeing, you know, braces on my teeth? Even though, like I say, they are so discreet. Even something so discreet like that for me, I still know it's there. And, like, I will know it will bug me. I'll feel crap. I have to have my composite bonding removed as well. And I hate my teeth underneath. Hazel actually said to me, she was like, go back and look at the videos of, like, where you didn't have bonding. See how you feel. And then if you feel like, yeah, my teeth are fine there. Like, that's your answer. And I literally looked at my old teeth and I was like... Mm -mm, I just hate them. So yeah, I then went back to her and was like, do you know what? I've had a think. I just don't think the braces option <clears throat> is going to be for me. I'm not that overly bothered about my bottoms. Like, I feel like you don't really see them too much when I smile and things like that. Like, my bike goes over them and whatever. So yeah, we opted to scrap the braces idea and just work on getting my bond in. Fresher, nicer, like re whitened. To be fair, I love the white, like whitening of mine, but she was saying like she wouldn't choose this colour for me as well. Um, I think she's basically going to do them a little bit more natural because she was saying they're quite square too, which is like old school style of bonding, a little bit too fake. Um, so yeah, she's going to do something a little bit more feminine. So I'm really excited because her work is unreal. Like go and take a look at her Instagram. I'm going to leave her Instagram, YouTube, everything to her pages down below. But I now need to tell you about what I'm going to day for. I'm so nervous. Show you what, I've actually not been thinking about it that much this morning until now I'm speaking about it. But basically, when I was there and they did all the x-rays on my teeth, they found that I had an infection on the tooth that I was just explaining to you about that gave me so much trauma when I originally went dentist. Was it a surprise? No, because like I say, I've had on and off toothache there for a while. But it was a surprise when she kind of said that teeth needs to come out. That teeth, that tooth, sorry, I can't even speak in correct grammar here. That tooth needs to come out. She was like, we've got bad news. That tooth is, ah, uh -uh, it's gone, it's dead. You're having problems. The infection spread too much. It now needs to come out because it's like spreading across the other teeth. So the issue is if I don't do anything, then I'm at like jeopardy of causing other issues with my other teeth around in it, around in it, surrounding it. Sorry, do you know when I start speaking really fast, I then find I can't speak that well. Um, so yeah, the long and the short of it is, guys, I've got to have a tooth out. And it is this, is it? It's this one. No, it's this one. It's this one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm literally just like pulling my mouth out in front of the camera. So you have like your back two molars. So it's not the far back one. It's the next one. So yeah, it's literally right there. So on my smile, you can't actually see it, which is a good thing. But I'm just like, oh my god, I'm too young to be having a tooth out. So anyway, a lovely dentist that works there too, but she actually works with more, um, what is it? Do you know like the screwing teeth that you have? Is that what they're called? I could be completely wrong with this because I'm not a dentist and I don't know the ins and outs. Um, but basically, she had a look at my tooth because she specialises in this kind of thing. Um, you know, like like I say, with like the screwing teeth. Um, is that what it's called? Screwing teeth, let me just Google this because I feel like I'm saying something really wrong and I'm, I might be, I might not be. Screw in tooth. <laughs> I swear it's not called that. Implant, that's what it is, an implant. So, I don't, even though it's like quite far at the back, you probably wouldn't see it. You would if you belly laugh and things like that. I just don't want to miss in tooth. So basically today I'm going to have my tooth extracted. She's then got to do a bone something or other because the infections that are away at the bone, you see, so now that needs to be built up again, they need to do something, bone, I don't really know, I don't know, I'm sure they'll explain it when I get there. Anyway, this is obviously not with Dr. Nora, this is with her friend who is a dentist who works in her clinic called Dr. Hind, 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 I think it's Dr. Hind, um, she's equally as lovely, and again, she made me feel really relaxed, I know I'm in safe hands with her. She's going to do an amazing job. So just a shout out to her. And if anyone needs to have a tooth extracted and go through this process, I really, really recommend her. I mean, I'm saying this. I've not even had it done yet. But you know when you just feel so comfortable with someone like... She just made me feel so comforted about the fact that I'm getting a tooth taken out today and, you know, about the whole process. And I just trust that she's going to do an amazing job. So I'm also going to take you on the journey. But yeah, that's where we're going today. I believe I can't have the implant fitted for around about a year basically something with the bone and it has to settle and 
again, I'm not too sure. So, so I'll get the lovely doctor to explain this because I genuinely don't have a clue. Anyway, I need to go because I've just looked at the time and I need to be there in 25 minutes. So yeah, come along for the journey, guys. Um, it's going to be like a whole week, like I say, of getting bits and bobs done. So I've got two fats a day the bone grafting or whatever then I've got my composites being redone on Friday I'm getting my hair extensions on this week I'm getting my nails done it's all going on so please excuse the state of me as well I just again I couldn't be bothered to do my hair today because I'm not really filming anything in particular like I'm not doing any reels or anything and I don't I don't normally like to do my hair until it's like a real filming day so that's tomorrow so right let's go okay so I'm with Dr Hind um as I go as I mentioned to you guys I have come today because I've got an infected tooth that's what's wrong with it isn't it yeah. do you want to explain what we're doing because I don't have a clue I was trying to explain it earlier but I don't really know <laughs> so uh, basically Laura visited us last week uh, for a checkup and uh, we did a panoramic extract and this is a beauty of having the panoramic extract it will show every single thing. So it will show um, what problems we have, uh, if we have infection, if we have crooked teeth and everything. So we have, uh, it was an incidental finding yeah. that we did. Yeah, I know it's an unpleasant finding, but um, mm -hmm. it's good because at least you know what's going on. Yes. So we had in the x-ray um, uh, an infection in one of the teeth, uh, upper molar teeth, I think. Right? Yeah, on the back. Yeah. Yeah. So Laura, she, um, because she didn't like coming to the dentist before. <laughs> so she had pain on and off pain on that tooth, right? But I've been an, an or, ignoring it. Exactly. I knew that I knew that tooth was gonna come back to bite me basically because yes. I've had issues on and off for a while. Yes. But I've just like you say, I've been kind of ignoring it because I was scared of the dentist. But it's not good. Please come. Exactly. <laughs> so this is one of let's say lesson number one. Yeah. Don't live with it. Because yeah. it 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 will get only worse. Yeah. Worse, I think. So we've seen the infection and we've decided, we've explained what options we have and we've decided that we need to treat it rather than, you know, okay, we know it's there, we'll just yeah. keep it. So today is the day and mm -hmm. since it's been there for a long time, so what we decided to do, we decided to take the tooth out Yeah. and because we have a, a big area of bone that has been eaten out because of the infection, so we were, we're not going to rely on our body only to heal itself up and to form a newborn because we're not going to leave Laura with a gap. Yeah. So the plan is to have an implant as a replacement for the tooth. Ooh. So yeah, I know. But <laughs> so it will be all worth it at the Yeah. End. I feel in good hands though. This is one thing with this dentist. Like everyone is so friendly here. Like you've just been so you made me feel at ease like straight away. Normally I'd have swerved and gone out the door, but like yeah, everyone's been so nice. Okay, so we've just been talking everything in detail. Um, so what is this? So this is, um, so we've decided that when we take the tooth out, we're not going to leave um, a space or a hollow in the bone, right? So yeah. we're going to fill it with something called, with a combination. So today, the combination is Maxigraft. Okay. So Max, Maxigraft is um, from a human donor, a live Ooh. human donor. It comes from a lab from Austria and uh, it's called... Maxigraft from Bodice, which is an Australian So brand. interesting. So we will mix 70% of Maxigraft with Cerebone. Cerebone is a carbon. Okay. Okay. Again, both of them, um, they went into so many processes to become a pure bone. So the Maxigraft will give us a vital bone. Yeah. yeah? While we don't need only vital bone, we need a solid bone. So we will have something called cerebone, which, is give, which will give us also volume. Yeah. So we'll have a combination of 70% of Maxigraph and 30% of cerebone. And surprise, surprise, how we will keep them in, in a place, we will use something called mucoderm. Mucoderm is a membrane and it's from cardiac muscle of a pig. It's so interesting, it honestly, it is blows my mind. It is genius. And I'll show you later yeah. um, an X-ray of my patient before and after having the bone graft. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, yeah, so this is the mucoderm, this is the membrane, these are the bone grafts. And mm. um, yeah, and uh, we will see you after. We yeah. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon. I've not even put my handbrake on. Is my handbrake on? I don't even know at this point. Oh god, now I've got my window wipers on. No, it is on. Do you know what? I still am yet to get used to. Oh god, I've really put my window wipers on now. I'm still yet to get used to 
this handbrake situ on Mercedes. Um, anyway, good afternoon. It isn't morning. Um, I actually forgot to vlog this morning because I was in a bit of a rush. Um, let me try and put you... Oh, wait. Let me just move my steering wheel so I can put you on it. Because I did manage to find a little bit of a lean-in thing. How convenient is that? I feel like we need to be a bit more down though. Um, anyway, hello. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of fluster at the moment. Um, it is Thursday today. I feel like I last picked up the vlog on Monday um, when I went to the dentist and just gave you a little bit of chat before I went to the dentist and you would have saw me at the dentist and yeah I haven't picked up the weekly vlog since then and there is a reason for that you might notice I'm still speaking a little bit weird now but basically had my tooth taken out as you guys know had the bone grafting done and I've been really sore since I've been struggling quite a bit I have taken painkillers this morning so I'm expecting the pain to probably come back anytime right about now um, I need to go actually pick some more up. I've literally gone for a whole pack of ibuprofen. I never even take painkillers. Like, I'm not someone that takes painkillers, but the pain is bad. Um, I honestly didn't think it would be that bad. I just thought, oh, I'm getting tooth taken out. Like, I've had four teeth taken out in one go before. Like, I'll be fine. What is that noise? Whose alarm's going off? Sorry, how annoying. Um, yeah, I thought I'd be fine, but no. I'm in pain. I don't know if it's because I've had the bone grafting and the stitches and that's what's causing the pain, but I am in a lot of pain right now, guys. So, yeah, just haven't picked up the vlog since. But this morning, I don't know if you can tell. Well, yeah, you should be able to tell. I have had my hair done. So I'm back in Nottingham today, which I'm so happy about because you guys know how much I just love this area. And, like, being back just makes me feel so happy. Don't get me wrong, I am so happy and, like, settled and moved in at Mitchell's, but... I just love coming around this area to go to the shops, to mooch, like it just makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, I went back to Lian at LG Hairdressing, that's where I get my hair done. Um, and today we have done a root colour, so we put a root on, we've dragged it down, lightened up just the front bits and a few blonde bits here. And then extension wise, we've just toned them and re-put them in. Um, I don't really know what she does, like whether she moves them up or what, but yeah, they're all like freshly moved up now. So I literally feel so fresh, like a new person. I'm loving this colour as well. I was thinking about going back dark, which I might do during like autumn. Like I'll never go fully dark again because I do like the light and yeah, just just the lightness in the hair. Like I do think it softens my face more. I mean, like if I go back dark, it will be very highlighted and that kind of dark not um all over like a dark brown or anything <clears throat> but anyway i thought i'd pick up the vlog to document my glow up um because i do need to go and get my nails done so i'm not really sure what the plan is now but i'm hungry because it's one o'clock so i'm gonna go and pick up some sushi because they have really nice sushi here so i'm gonna get some sushi a nice drink i'm really struggling eating actually like i've only really been having things like mashed potato cottage pie so just soft things because again with no tooth there i'm struggling um i was gonna say i've not told you about the tooth issue but i have already explained that but yeah where i'm at now with it is i kind of have to wait six to nine months depends how the bone goes and then i can go and get a screwing tooth if i want to at this point i'm actually like should i've even had the bone graft in do i even need a tooth there because it's so at the back like you can't even see it but then it's one of them if you like open mouth laugh you can see i've got no tooth so i kind of do want a tooth there um but it is so extensive um so yeah, anyway, my camera is flashing. Shock, what's new? I forgot to put a new battery in. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and grab some sushi. I think I'm going to go and get my nails done because I've got a wedding to go to on Sunday. So this is why we've got all this prep. So two fat Monday. Today we're having hair. I want toes and nails done because it's been a hot minute since i've actually had them done properly i only really get them done now like for special occasions and then i do them myself in between but yeah i thought we'd have a bit of a glow up with that today and then i what else am i doing oh i've got my teeth done tomorrow so i'm having the rebonding done tomorrow which i'm so excited about like this is the before they're just they've been in for four or five years like the bonding so it does wear down and stuff so yeah it's like this bit can you see like it's just all chipped and worn down now sorry guys i had to switch to my phone quality because the battery died um but yeah as i was saying my teeth have like all worn down now so i can't wait to get them redone it's so warm i feel like my makeup looks really 
sweat his day. It's always done on them, isn't it? After you just come out of the hairdressers, like your makeup is all like taken off, worn away. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna go into Asda, and then um, I think I'm gonna go into Westbridge. I mean, I'm in Westbridge now, but I'm gonna go into Westbridge and go and get my nails. And hopefully, Terry's done as well. It's so nice of a gulp day. I feel like after the couple of weeks of like, you know, having no makeup on and just living like a scruff moving all of that it's just nice to have a day out today where it's like it's about me <laughs> you know like just feeling a bit more human again so let's go wow that was very amusing to say the least i was just walking to my car and um there was like i don't really know what was going on i don't know what's kicked off but this woman was having like a massive argument with this bloke and she was saying she was just like literally shouting she's like he's got the smallest in the world like honestly in the whole car park and then he's like effing and blinding at her like it's quite rare for around here to be honest with you i thought this area was quite um i don't know like i just was a bit shocked yeah it was interesting i don't know what had happened but that was amusing uh, i didn't know where to look like she was like pointing to me and she was like this guy and i was like oh okay <laughs> all right um anyway got my sushi it's sushi thursdays oh goodness where has my soy and wasabi gone i am now wasabi girl with sushi um honestly game changer why have i been eating sushi without wasabi and who didn't tell me to eat i don't know why i'm getting the chopsticks out like i know how to eat chopsticks um if anyone can advise the best way to eat with chopsticks so do you like break them up or do you like how oh, i really want to eat with chopsticks i can kind of do it but i'm not going to show myself up so yeah but anyway i think i said this in my video the other week but my brother got me on wasabi and it is the one um you need like the smallest bit of it but it's so good oh oh my goodness so i've got the prawn tempura crunch roll breaded prawn cucumber avocado lettuce spicy mayonnaise sushi sauce fried onions <gasps> this is so good so what we do i'm not really that into the soy sauce you get from um the sushi daily like it's not i don't know what's different with it oh my god so what i do is i put just a tiny bit Oh god, that's a lot. Like it's strong stuff. Like you literally just need the smallest bit. We are gonna put a bit of soy on. I like the um squirty things instead because this tends to go everywhere. And oh god, you don't want a lot either. Yeah, I've just basically put the whole packet on. <clears throat> so if I show you smallest bit of wasabi. Oh, really hard to eat i'm really struggling to eat so good what i was trying to say it's so good but i keep forgetting i've got my missing tooth and obviously i don't really know what i think i'm supposed to like avoid eating on that area because of the bone or whatever and it's really hard hmm okay so she's done now for dessert now i feel like what i'm going to show you is questionable debate no not questionable but like you're either going to love it or hate it it's a bit like marmite um but this for me is just like nostalgic um reminds me of my grandma so much so my dad used to do her shopping for her on a saturday morning and um obviously there was like a bakery nearby and well i mean they sold them in the supermarket as well but she'd be like oh pick a snack custard up um and like we'd go around hers and like have a cup of tea and a custard it used to be really cute um so they just remind me of her and i don't eat them that often but do you know like when you just fancy something sweet and you see them in the shop and i'm like oh god an egg custard like wouldn't go amiss and as i'm having just a really nice me day today these are my favorite kind of days but just self-care meet around the shops like this is my perfect day off like ugh, this is what life is about call me sad but sitting in my car just had the best sushi now i'm treating myself to an egg custard like does life get any better um yeah let me know if you like egg custards or not like i say i feel like you're either just gonna love them or hate them they sound really weird don't they like egg custard but like, i don't like egg so I like po okay, I'm really funny with egg. I like poached egg. I like scrambled egg if it's not dry, but I don't like fried egg. I hate fried egg. Like 
if it was on my plate, I would dip like the chips in to the yolk, but I wouldn't eat it. Like I don't like fried egg. So yeah, I'm a bit funny with egg. Like it's not my favourite thing, but egg custard. Oh my god. Mmm. This is the most solid food I've had since Monday. And I'm really struggling. Oh god. So good, right. I'm gonna eat this. Drive to nail shop. Let's go and get our nails done. Good morning, guys. Um, so you're gonna have to keep this very short and sweet because I am actually on time, um, but I only have four minutes to spare, and I have to kind of like walk to where I'm going. So yeah, I don't want to be late. I just want to be on time. Um, but anyway, today's Friday, and oh my god, I didn't even like pick up in the evening yesterday. Like I got home, tried on outfits for this wedding on Sunday. It was all like a million miles an hour. Um, so updates first of all um, I actually went and got my nails done which I think I got some footage when I was in there I don't even know if I spoke to you after I think I might have done I can't even remember right now um, but yeah just a classic French kind of like a squarish shape but not too like blocky if that makes sense I like them a little bit thin um, and I like quite a pink tone not like nude if that makes sense so that's what I had done had my toes done also and then um, I got my ears done can you even see them? yeah you can um really random really spontaneous i get i say it's random and spontaneous i've actually been wanting my seconds repairs for a while now i had them done years and years and years ago and then i think i just took them out and then they really closed up i didn't expect them to close up and they did um so yeah like i've just missed them so i went to claire's and actually got them pierced because it was just local to me um bloody hell how expensive is piercings nowadays i swear it was like 20 quid back in the day i mean yeah that was back in the day so obviously it's going to go up but it was 52 pound i think the cheapest was 30 maybe like 40 basically how it's like priced it's like 32 quid for the earrings and then you have to pay 15 pound for the aftercare so in total it was like 52 pound or something or other um but i did go for the better earrings too they have plat not platinum <laughs> platinum um titanium i think she said um which is a cheaper option but she was like i'll be honest she's like i'm not just saying this <clears throat> everyone like not every person but more than not people do get infections with them because it's not like carrot gold kind of thing or something or other so yeah i went for the ones that she recommended they're just literally like tiny gold studs and i actually really like them you know like normally when you have your ears pierced and you have like just really crappy earrings in you have to keep them in i really like these ones so yeah that kicked off yesterday I probably should have got mitchell to vlog it but sometimes i just don't think of these things oh my god what's going on so yeah that was that i feel like i'm speaking so funny still like my mouth is in bits so it's now been monday tuesday wednesday thursday so i'm on my fifth day post like having my tooth taken out and all of that jazz I'm still in so much pain I've not took painkillers this morning because I genuinely have had like a box and a half painkillers since Monday and I never touch painkillers normally but I've needed it so I'm trying to like go without today um but anyway the reason why I'm back at the dentist today and starting this vlog off is as I mentioned on Monday um so obviously I had the thing I needed to have on Monday um but today's actually cosmetic so i'm seeing dr nora at beautiful smiles today she is honestly so amazing like if you are leicester nottingham anywhere around the area birmingham like just anywhere well i mean you could be two hours away it doesn't really matter like you have to sometimes drive to go to good dentists um but yeah anyway i'm seeing her today to get my teeth sorted so as you can see they're quite square and she pointed this out to me i was like yeah they are aren't they and she was like we don't normally do that on girls like we have more of a like a feminine shape so she's gonna sort the shape out but really like uh do you see the bond in there sorry i'm not opening my mouth and everything um the bond in there has really worn away bonding only normally lasts for like five years max i mean mine still lasted but obviously they're wearing down so yeah you normally have to either get them redone or i guess you could get like bits and bobs just done or whatever but i just want all mine off she also said my like the white color of mine is too chalky so i think we're gonna go for a little bit more natural dare i say because you guys know i do just like not fake but <laughs> 
I don't want it like really like I do want white teeth. I don't want like real natural teeth where it's like, oh yeah, your teeth are alright. Like I, I want people to be like, oh my god, your teeth are white. Do you know what I mean? But then I don't want it to be like where it's like, oh my god, your teeth are so crazily white. So it's yeah, the balance, isn't it? So I'm gonna speak to you about the whitening because when she said that, I was like, I actually really like the colour of my teeth. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna sort that out. Um, but yeah, I'm in really good hands. Like if you, you only have to go on her Instagram, guys, to see her work. Like she is insane and a master in her field. She obviously does like orthodontics so if you want braces um she does these braces that i'll actually insert a little video in i was originally going to go down the braces route but i think i explained this like i've just decided against it because i'm too insecure and i just don't think i can cope with none of the braces but they are like they do look really good and i seen someone that she did the other day with them on and i was like actually can't even see them but yeah i'm just not going to bother with that we're going to stick with the bonding because i'm more than happy with that like i just don't feel that unhappy with my teeth where i need to go for full top and bottom braces so anyway let's go because it's now nine um but yeah come along for the ride take one last look at my teeth <laughs> i will leave all of dr nora's details in the description bar obviously um but yeah let's go and get my teeth done okay guys so i am just a beautiful smiles let me show you how stunning it is in here like look at this aesthetic i literally want some of these trees in my house <laughs> Here is the lovely Dr. Nora, Hi. who's going to be working her magic today on my teeth. So excited. So, we're, as I've already explained, I've explained this all in the car, but you're going to take my bonding off, aren't you? Yes. And then... we we'll white through them, because yeah. the base will be nice and white, and everything yeah. is good. And then we'll put lovely uh, bonding that will match your features, be more feminine, yeah. look more natural, and um, really shiny as well. Can't wait. Um, so as I explained as well, Dr. Nora does everything. So if you want to get braces, like if you want to go for like a full transformation, she has loads of options of that as well. So yeah, just get yourself booked in for a consultation. So before we get started, I wanted to show you my 3D scan that I had when I first came into my consultation. I mean, I'm not going to be able to explain much about this. I'm going to let Dr. Nora do her thing, but this is essentially my teeth before. So yeah, we got like, see these are the, the teeth with the bonding, mm -hmm. if we, so you can see that, see this one is a little bit longer than this one, this one is shorter than this one, they're not symmetric, no. and they are very square, Yeah. so um, that's what we need to do, and then obviously because of wear and tear, and this, but they've been a while, so they're a little bit stained as well, Yeah. so if we remove the bottom one, and then we look at it from the top, oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Giving you a real behind the scenes of my mouth here, guys. <laughs> yeah. See here as yeah. well. This one is pushed a bit backwards. This one is like that. So they're not really like you know quite even as well. No. So it will work out. And then like you know, see this one has got a bit of a leak. So oh, it's good yeah. that we get rid of it and then get them out of the way. Yeah. This definitely. was the tooth that you had before it was removed. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, <laughs> it's that not one there. is not there. It was a really bad tooth. So it's a good job you got rid of it. And yeah. then hopefully, Hind will replace it for you with a lovely implant. But yeah after we whiten all the teeth these will be really perfect mm -hmm. and then it will be ready for replacing this one that's missing yeah. but yeah they will look really nice afterwards can't wait yeah and there's my bottoms. There's the bottom <laughs> ones. The, we can get by because the good thing is that you don't you don't show your bottom teeth when you smile. Yeah, so my, got a tiny yeah. bit of crowding there, but it doesn't really show that much anyway. So. No, it's not too bad. Yeah. There you go, guys. So I've just had all of my bonding taken off. I can't believe these are my teeth. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've not seen them in five years. Like, look how gappy they are. It's the front as well. Do you know how they kind of? Yeah, overlap a little bit. But it's gonna be sorted. I can't wait just to get them back on now. I can't even take myself seriously. Yeah. Final review. Oh, oh my god, I feel so I feel really nervous. I've been sat here and like you don't know what's going on. I can't wait for you to see your team. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, they look so much better. <laughs> They look so much more natural. They're so cute. Aww. Oh my god, I can't get over it. I'm so shocked. I can't believe what we went from when we took the bond bonding off. Oh my god, I love the shape of them today. Oh, I love it. It's my girl. Oh. It, looks, it looks a lot better, doesn't it? It looks yeah. so much better. How do you feel, Laura? I don't know. I'm still. Sh I can't believe like this is what we've managed to get with my sharp teeth before. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, oh, thank you so much. Honestly, I'm so happy. She's put my lipstick on now. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. 
everyone. Um, so, it is, I'm carrying on the vlog. Vlog from what? <laughs> carrying on the vlog from, have we parked too far down? Just a little walk. Oh, okay. Um, good morning everyone, sorry about that. Um, so, it is Saturday today. God, I was last for days then. Um, obviously, the last time I vlogged, I think it was when I was getting my teeth done. I don't even think I've shown you a reveal yet. I'll show you more later and talk to you about that. Um, it's Mitchell's birthday today, 31. And we're going to the Tithe Barn. I've not been here in ages. It's so cute. It's in Cosby in Leicester. You, if you've been not following me for a while, you know I used to come here and like have breakfast, it's so cute. They've got a really nice outdoor area. So yeah, Mitchell didn't know where he was going. And I've uh, treated to breakfast today. Anyway, I'm gonna put my camera down. What have you gone for? Food wise? Big breakfast. <laughs> Had everything on, didn't it? A lot. You looking forward to it? Can't wait. And we've even gone for a frappe now that Mitchell has decided that he likes coffee randomly. When did you discover this? I went out my tooth out. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, they don't really taste that much, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've had better, but they're really refreshing though, aren't they? Mm. So you've gone for white chocolate and I've gone for chocolate apparently. Although I did have spiffing a lot, but it don't matter. What is it? I don't know, it's time to put it around the gate. Hi there mate. Hey guys, so I just picked up my cake from Cake and Craft. I used her last year for Mitchell's 30th birthday cakes. He actually had two last year because his birthday was a surprise. So I had to look like I was getting him a cake for his like family meal, which is really awkward. And then I got him a two tier one for his birthday. But honestly, if you're Nottingham based or Leicester, I mean, I'm back in Leicester now and I still want it to her because she is just a real, really, really recommend. She does like 12 different flavors and that's what I love about her. Like this one is salted caramel. She does chocolate orange, cherry bakewell, um, vanilla chocolate, white chocolate and raspberry. Um, honestly, cookies and cream, there's so many. Um, I have just done that to it, how annoying. She'd got it so smooth and lovely. And then when I took it out of the box, I don't really know what I did, guys. I, um, like, do you know, with my finger, like I just put my finger in it, which is so annoying. Then she kindly put these on as well, like how cute. So I just asked for it, like without that. Well, I didn't just ask for them basically. Just asked quite a simple cake. Um, so she kind of did it in this like beige color with the sprinkles at the bottom, Mitchell there. I did order a 30 acrylic thing from Etsy, but it hasn't come, not 30, 31. So that's annoying. Um, and then she done all the buttercream on top, which is insane. Ugh, I can't believe I did that. I'm so annoyed with myself. And then she was like, oh, I put some balloons on top just to like make it extra cute. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Cause she doesn't always charge for them. Um, so that was really kind of her. So yeah, so chuffed with that. My mum and dad are on the way around any minute now. So I hadn't told, honestly, you can never do surprises with Mitchell. Not that like my mum and dad coming around is like a really, you know, big surprise or anything, but um, you can just never do surprises with him. He finds out everything or he wants to know everything, which is really annoying. So I was like, right, today I took him to breakfast. He nearly, like, not, he didn't nearly find out that, but he wanted to know like, where he was going. But I managed to keep it a, um, sorry, I'm just like checking my mum's there. I managed to keep that a secret. So I was like, oh, okay, that's good. So he didn't have no idea literally until we pulled it up. Dinner, I had to tell him I was going tonight because he needed to know the menu or something. So that's annoying because I couldn't keep that surprise. And then um, what I was going to do is, because he said to me this morning, like, oh, your mum and dad hasn't given me a card. Like, you went around there last night, like, why didn't you get the card? But basically, they were going to come over at half two for cake and a cup of tea. Because obviously I'm surprised them with the cake, which again, he didn't know about until this morning, which was really annoying because um, when was at the Tithe Bomb, oh, I'm speaking so weird still because I've got so many ulcers in my mouth and stuff, so please excuse my mouth shape and everything. Um, but yeah, when was at the Tithe Bomb this morning, he was like, oh, I think I'm going to get a big piece of cake because it's my birthday and I've not got a cake. And I thought, I don't want to eat cake and then we've got this big cake here. So I was like, I've got you a cake. So I just had to tell him. And then he just rang me and was like, oh, I'm going to go on the pub at five. And obviously my mum and dad are coming around. So I was like, oh, my mum and dad are coming around. So honestly, can't ever do a surprise with him, but yeah. Anyway, my parents are coming around now, because um, my dad's actually never been around to Mitchell's house. So um, yeah, it'd be nice for him to come around and see. Now I'm all moved in. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is the plan. I need to take some more painkillers because 
as I'm speaking, my mouth's really hurt and I look really orange today. I put the wrong bronzer on. I basically have the same, I have two refly bronzers. One, you only apply like a, a really small amount and that's if you like super bronzed and obviously I'm not super bronzed at the moment. And um, I didn't look at the back of it and I was like applying all these bronzers and I looked, I was like, oh my God, I'm way too bronzed. So yeah, that's excuse. Um, right, anyway, ciao for now. Oh dear. <laughs> Everybody's climbing up now. Ah oh dear. I'll have my cup of tea. Looks like these look like biscuits these do, Mitchell. Can you can you dunk these in there? Looks like a hobnob, a big hobnob. <laughs> Day two. Thank you, <laughs> oh, it's not for me, it's for you. That looks nice, Kate. What's, uh, yeah, what's, what's the flavour? Salted caramel. Ooh. Okay. I knew it'd be that one. Oh, Mum, can you help me cut the cake? Yeah. Oh, you got to cut that. It's not like a traditional cake. Kind of, it's not like a cake shape, is it? Yeah, it's not like a cake shape. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
Oh, Don't take much persuade and do well. Uh... No, definitely not. It's because it doesn't happen very often, that's why. Well, this is it. Like, we were talking about the pros and cons, and the pros is... The sun shining. Yeah. We're both free at the same time, and it's I haven't happens. got a baby. And before this, we've not actually caught up properly since my birthday. Other than when I picked you up in the car the other day. My birthday. It was April. Wow, I really am living the retired life this week. Ladies at lunch, look at this. These salads are huge. Me and Danielle were trying to get chips instead of potatoes, but they wouldn't change them, so we wanted the chips, but look how big this is. Oh, and some pies look nice. Oh, mm. I've gone for salmon. Okay, so I feel like the last footage you will have saw on this vlog was me and Danielle out for lunch um honestly i feel like towards the end of the vlog as i was editing it back i was like oh my god this is just like so random and kind of like jumpy as well and um, like i vlogged at the garden center with my grandma but then it was such a hot day we'd already basically purchased um the garden furniture i then didn't want to like drag her back around and show you guys and stuff um so yeah kind of like stopped vlogging then um and then i randomly just started vlogging when i was with danielle because that was just another day that wasn't planned for that but it's just been such nice weather in england at the moment i feel like you always have to just take advantage when the sun's shining it's so hard sometimes like we're working self-employed and then um because we're self-employed right you are kind of like for me anyway with my job i kind of have the flexibility and the freedom to kind of like do my work schedule when i want within reason and yeah friday was just one of them days where i was like do you know what it's like 28 degrees um, I randomly bumped into Danielle as I explained in Asda, it was just the most random thing, it was almost like it was meant to be because before that we hadn't seen each other and like called up properly in so long, since my birthday which was April, um, because you know she's a busy mum and it's just trying to find times when we're both free to then meet up and stuff which just isn't easy, like it's just how it is when you're older, so yeah it was almost like it was meant to be, I was like right I'm going to grab myself a coffee from Starbucks, go Asda, get some lunch and I was probably like building myself up to go in Asda anyway because I just don't like going in there, um, but then yeah, seen on the first aisle and I just knew from that moment I was like that's it, we are not working this afternoon like we're gonna go and enjoy a nice lunch somewhere, catch up and just have a lovely afternoon and we really did, so um yeah i'm really glad that happened but anyway i am gonna wrap up this vlog here because i feel like it would have been quite long um but i really hope you have enjoyed it sorry like i say that it has been a bit jumpy from day to day to day but i i say this all the time i'll try i'll try and do better um but no i really will try i feel like i just need to I don't even know what it is, I just think sometimes when you're vlogging, it's so easy to be vlogging, then you get distracted, then I end up doing some other kind of like work, if it's filming something else, like a sit down video or editing, and yeah, before you know it, you've only vlogged like a two minute segment on one day, and then it jumps to the next day, so it is what it is. But anyway, I'm going to go and stop shooting your ears off, thank you so much for watching, as always guys, and I'll see you all in my next video, bye bye!